So we're at the end of phase two and the beginning of phase three with this drug. I just briefly mentioned this phase two study. By the way, this had 30% patients with FH because you see here the, the contribution of LPA uh, to those patients. Uh, this was a dose ranging study up to 12 months of therapy, uh, different doses. And let me just show you the bottom line here. The drug is called Pelicarsin now. This is the generic name. And if you recall from the other slide, we're getting up to about a 30% reduction in, in LPA with various therapies available to us now. At the highest dose, we're now getting 80% mean uh, reduction in LP little a. And if you ask the question, well, how many people get under a uh, level that's considered to be acceptable or ideal, it's 98%. So if you put this from the perspective of a statin or a world or LDL world, it's like having the most potent way to lower LDL and you get you know 98% of people to go. And of course, this will allow us to test the LPA hypothesis that if we can achieve an 80% reduction and get 98% of people to normal level, what happens to their events? Now, in this study, there was also a massive reduction in oxidized phospholipids, 89%. Interestingly, there's also a modest reduction, these are absolute values, of LDL and ApoB. And we can discuss the mechanism of interest uh, or what we think is the mechanism of that uh, later. Now, the LPA Horizons cardiovascular outcomes trial is undergoing. It started recruited in December 2019, so there's already a lot of patients randomized. It's going to have 7,680 patients. They're going to have to have a prior event. And the LPA chosen here was 70. And they have to be on optimal therapy for uh, LDL lowering and other risk factors. They'll be randomized to pelicarsin, 80 milligram sub-Q monthly versus placebo. And then there'll be two co-primary endpoints, time to MACE in everybody. So everybody over LPA 70. And also time to MACE in people that have very elevated levels with an LPA over 90. This has already been worked out with the regulators. Either one of these endpoints um, that will have statistical significance will be considered a positive trial. Uh, the study is very robust. And I think we learned some lessons from not carding it short like, like happened with the PCSK9 inhibitor studies. So it's powered to have a cardiovascular mortality reduction of at least 20%. It's gonna go 4.2 years and it's gonna have close to a thousand events. And so this will really be kind of like the 4S trial of simvastatin. Uh, and I think this will be the definitive study to, to say yes or no, whether lowering LPA helps patients. And so this is what we should see for the LPA levels. Um, and this is a study that's going to be coming out in Jack. And thank you to Dan Rader for the invitation. This is the popula population distribution uh, on, on just frequency uh, distribution. Horizon is only going to have people here in the red. Okay, so it's going to be this group, but it's going to be obviously a lot of people. And then the drug should move everybody to the green. And so this will be the difference between uh, the LPA levels and, and we'll have to see how that pans out in terms of cardiovascular uh, events.